Hello, everybody. Team Bravo 615 here. And today, let's play some more Shadowrun Dragonfall. Where we last left off, we killed Billy. Oh, Billy. I know majority of you are too young to understand that reference, so. Um, we killed Billy, the, um... Oh my god, what the hell was that thing again? The, um... Oh my god, the stonifying lizard. I forget what the freaking thing was called. And some hellhounds. So, um, yes, mythical creatures are a thing here in the Shadowrun universe. Uh, one of the, uh, pesky side effects, if you will, of the magification, uh, or the, the, the awakening of magic, if you will, into the modern world, the Basilisk. Bailey the Basilisk, I knew I'd remember it. Um, naturally, even animals have uh, been magically awakened in some some instances, so um, they were doing some bad things here, experimenting on these creatures, these poor things. Um, I get it, you know, nasty um, supernatural beasts, but at the same time, it's still animals that were being experimented on, so I can't blame them for having to on their shoulder. So, as we jam out to this awesome music, this is probably one of my more one of my favorite songs from the soundtrack. Um, we are going to go back up and meet with uh, Crazy Man Richard. Is that his name? I don't remember that guy though. Uh, been locked up a little too long, so we're going to see now that we have the key guard from Billy the Basilisk's innards. So, oh, let's go. Okay. Here we are. Hopefully nothing else bad happens. I want to see what else we got in the meantime. Ah, uh, keep a key card do I have? Uh, executive card. <laughs> Found in Billy's stomach. Yes, it was. Ah, uh, that's the executive layer of clearance. Yeah, let's go. Uh, the door is hermetically sealed. Months of disuse have left it covered in the thick coat of dust. A simple swipe key access system is mounted under the door frame. Block letters in the system's case read Executive Clearance Only. Swipe your Executive Clearance key card. You betcha! Key panels light blips to a more pleasant hue, and the door unlocks. Yay, snack machine! Oh, he said something. Here goes something. <laughs> Philip, that was his name. Alright, Philip, get your choco nubs. Thank you, my friend. You've granted me the secret desire that my heart yearned for most. A respectable supply of non-organ-based foods. You will always be welcome in these hallowed halls. I, Philip Rex, do so swear it. All right, so, uh, yeah, you're really into that Night Kings of Lightning old show, aren't you? Um, I guess I could kind of ask him. I kind of don't want to break the bubble for him. Um... Let's see, I want to know about the... Well, tell me about your peasantry. Yeah, let's see what you know about these things. I love them. They're like family to me. When I'm hungry, they're the ones who harvest the meat for me to cook from the cultured organ lab. When I'm in need of company, they keep me warm. Um... Hmm. Sounds cozy. Sure. It is! It is! You killed three of them, but I can activate more. He rubs his chin, grinning. They will return to me, and I will show them the love that only a true ruler can. I will bathe them in my affection. And uh, that sounds uh, that 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 sounds a little sus, there, buddy. Um, don't be rubbing up on, uh, on on unwilling, um, non-consenting drones. That's that's a bit much. And yeah, that's enough of that. Let's see. <laughs> Hang on a second. Just how many more peasants do you have in this building? Oh, hundreds, he beams at you. The security system here is quite a state-of-the-art. User-friendly, too. It didn't take long to figure out how to make some peasants wake up and others go to sleep. I allow the majority of my peasantry to rest peacefully, basking in the benevolence of my rule. I can wake them at any time, but why? I say let them rest. That's probably for the best. But can we talk about something else? He blinks. Of course. What do you need? Um... I want to know more about the prototype Bioware. 
Nike shrugs. It's Bioware. Pretty standard stuff. Pain editors, trauma dampers, ortho skin, things like that. And if all of it was reverse engineered from existing Bioware products, right? I read up on Sutherland's process. Yes, that's... That's right. Knockoffs, he nods slowly. Dangerous work. Illegal most places, but not here in Berlin. Our investor needed it that way. Uh, I guess that explains why Isabel didn't hire a company in Spain. He nods eagerly. Yes, too risky. Here in Berlin, no problems with the law, because there is no law. You just have to be careful. All for naught now, though. Our copies were good, just like the real thing. But who cares? It's all just meat in the end. Uh, not to me, it isn't. I needed that. I need that stuff, and I'm not leaving without it. Uh, if you won't miss that meat, I'll take it off of your hands. <laughs> Go right ahead. Fill your pockets. Take whatever you like. I, on the other hand, will avail myself of the snack bar. Uh, tell me a little more about the underworld. He nods slowly. The nether realm that lies beneath the hallowed halls of Sutherland Bioscience. A nightmarish labyrinth of dripping pipes and filthy brickwork. Billy rules supreme down there now. To set foot into the underworld means certain death. Uh, just get this straight. We were talking about a sewer, right? The underworld is just the sewer. Ah, you know what? Again, I, I, I don't feel the need to burst this guy's bubble, dude. I mean, if it makes him happy or if it helped him cope for the 18 months that he was stuck down here, then so be it. He ain't hurting nobody, except for maybe a couple drones, but they're asleep anyway, so... Strange that someone would build a labyrinth over under a biotech company. It is, isn't it? It's a mystery. A conundrum. What could they have intended it for? The torture of the innocent? Or perhaps the builders had the pres the prescience to foresee the coming of Billy. Or maybe they intended it for basic sanitation. It's a sewer too, by the way. <laughs> I didn't need the whole time. His voice lowers to an ominous whisper. But it is also a nightmarish labyrinth of Yeah, I got you. Let's talk about something else. Easy there, Tiger. I get it. Now I'm not gonna change the subject. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Let's talk about something else. Um, yeah, what happened here? What caused the lockdown? A calamitous series of events. It began with a spilled cup of Soykhoff and ended in terror and blood. He falls silent. There is a long, awkward pause. Uh, someone spilled Soykhoff. That's it. Well, no. Naturally, the inevitable results of such an incident followed the spill. He blinks confusedly. Do you want me to spell it out for you? Yes, that wasn't an explanation. <laughs> ah, he sighs. Then you shall have one. Where to begin? On the morning of the lockdown, all was well. Gitzer, an executive, was making his rounds walking from console to console to check up on us. He held a bubbling cup of Soykhoff in his stubby little hands. Is it Soykhoff or Soykhoff? I've been saying Soykhoff. I think I'm going to stick with that. We all knew that food and drink were forbidden outside of the employee lounge. But Gatzer was a proud man. He would not obey the rules. His pride was our undoing. He tripped and fell, and his soy calf spilled into a console in the animal testing wing. There was a terrible snap of shorting circuits, coupled with the stench of ozone. All over the building, emergency lights flashed and alarms blared. The building went into quarantine mode. He raises his voice and gestures theatrically. Doors locked and shutters slammed closed. We were all trapped like rats inside. But we were not afraid. We were sure that the malfunction would be fixed within the hour. We did not know what was coming for us. Unbeknownst to any of us, Gitzer's devil beverage had done more than initiate a false quarantine. It had also shorted the locks on Billy's cage. The albino basilisk slipped its bonds, and in that moment, its reign of terror began. His voice climbs to a roar. Within an half hour of the spell, Billy had slaughtered everyone who could have disengaged the lock. Executives were torn limb from limb. Their business attire was shredded, and their expenditure reports bathed in blood. And the rest of us were trapped inside with the savage beast. He falls silent, blinking. As you watch, his expression clouds. When he speaks again, his voice is small. In the end, only Heiner and I remained. We managed to trap Billy in the underworld. 
but there was no escape. There was no hope of escape for us. It's been two years. Someone must have come knocking before now. All right, I would have thought so. I mean, I know it's kind of in a rough neighborhood, but I would have thought someone would have checked up on them. Uh, why not? Couldn't you have called for help? Uh, that's actually, a, a, I think, a better question. Uh, so essentially, you've been trapped here for the past two years because of dumb luck. Huh. Let's see. Couldn't you have just called for help? No. Comlinks don't work in here. No reception. And the quarantine cut off our matrix access. Heiner and I found ourselves completely isolated from the outside world with a terrible creature running loose in the basement. Our choices were to give up and die or to make the best of it. The manic cheer that you've come to expect floods back into the lab tech. He spreads his arms wide, a knowing smile on his face. As you can plainly see, we chose the latter. We persevered and eventually transformed this husk of a building into the glorious kingdom that you find yourself standing in today. It was all for the best in the end. I tamed this land and I have grown to love it. I will never live anywhere else. Um, you know what? Just because it's still there, and not so much to burst this bubble, I just want to see what this uh, unfolds for us. You're really into that Night Kings of Lightning Holt show, aren't you? Staring at you, he slowly nods. It is my life. My entire life. My reason for being. Blitz smirks. Wow. Must be rough being that big a fan and not having seen the ending. He reels as though he's been struck. You're saying that there's more? Yeah, the last episode before it got cancelled. You know, the hastily written final chapter where you find out what happens with the Jubathon invasion? I had always thought that they had left the ending to the imagination, like a beautiful dream. He fidgets uncontrollably, uncomfortably. But now the dream is over. I will never know peace until I have seen this conclusion for myself. He lurches forward, his hand clasped in supplication. You must help me. You must find a way to show me the final episode. I need it. I'm willing to bet that I could do that, Chief. This guy might not know how to disengage the quarantine, but I'll bet that I can. And once we reestablish the building's matrix connection, it'd be no big deal for me to download the last episode for him to watch. If nothing else, it'll keep him occupied for a while. I don't see why we shouldn't. Go ahead. Sure thing, Chief. The terminals in this building are all networked together, so I should be able to drop the quarantine from any computer in this place. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Tears stream down his cheeks. This is the happiest day of my life. Cool. Alright, use a terminal to disengage the quarantine. Uh, any terminal, you say. Ah. Well. Huh, we're gonna go hit the can real quick. Now let's grab uh, our BioWare. That's we're right here. Hopefully this doesn't start anything. I haven't picked up. Alright. Well, we're not leaving yet. We're gonna hit the terminal for you. Not yet. No climbing down. Observation terminal. That's a terminal. The name terminal is in the name. The terminal governs the animal testing wing of Zutralid Bioscience. Data entries concerning animal test subjects and the procedures performed upon them fill the menu screen. Zutralid Bioscience animal test... Eh, you know, we already knew all this. Have Blitz disengage the building's quarantine protocols. All right, Chief. Watch me work. Blitz plugs... Blitz plugs a cyber deck into the terminal and punches the escape key with a flourish. A second later, he hits the Y key. The building lights flicker. That can't have been it. You still have to do something else, right? Jack into the Matrix or something? Nope. That's it. Quarantine disengaged. And now to get Phil the last episode of the bullshit Trid show. His fingers dance over the deck's keypad. A few minutes later, he lands up with a smile. Done and done. The horrible conclusion to the terrible show is waiting for Phil in his media center. You want to know how it ends? Not particularly. Too bad, because I'm telling you anyway. <laughs> to Tony's Rex and his elf sweetie's dad make up. A bunch of elves fight Jubathons and get their asses kicked. And the whole Garabork, the demon lord, subplot is dropped because the show's effects budget got cut. In the end, Titonia saves Lightning Hold by rallying a peasant revolt. Comes out of nowhere. 
barely makes sense, and the whole thing ends in a vomit-inducing love scene. It's a goddamn train wreck. Hey, whatever. As long as it keeps Phil happy. Really and truly. That's all that matters, man. Alright, yeah. Phil, you got something to watch. Alright. Ah, the intrepid sir returns. What can I do for you? The quarantine's off now. The final episode of your show is on the record's computers. The... Yes. Base will be known and brought to the land. Phil takes off running in the direction of the record's room. Yeah. There he goes. And I got a karma for that. Ah. Can you not go that way? Or am I blocking it? Did you just glitch? Are you supposed to be watching it, but you're not watching it? Can I talk to you while you're trying to watch it? You... You've given me everything. My whole heart's desire. The hidden knowledge of Teutonius Rex's victory is mine, and I will be a better ruler for it. And also, I have sugary snacks. Philip stares into your eyes. His entire body is trembling. I have it all. And all thanks to you, noble sir. All thanks to you. Yeah, that's right. Don't you forget. <laughs> all right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. It wasn't even all that difficult. Uh, no problem, Phil. I do have a few more questions for you, though. Do I, though? No, I don't. Who's my friend? Go ahead. Ask whatever you will. I would gladly answer. I gotta go. I'll see you around. Yeah, later. <laughs> Can I... Is there anything else to you? Ah, something about long and be gone. I'm in your debt, noble sir. Thanks to you, my reign will be long and a joyous, a long and joyous one. Well, all's well that ends well, I say. Can I really do nothing else here? Can I watch the bullshit show? I mean, not that I want to. Any more terminals stuffs? No, I don't want to search the archive anymore. Okay. I guess that's really it. I don't remember this mission being so lackluster, but then again, I haven't played this to completion for quite some time, so um, there's a lot in this game that I don't remember. Quite a lot. Alright, to the streets. What? As you emerge, blinking into the light of day, you find yourself standing face to face with a venerable wall of security personnel. A man in an expensive suit raises a megaphone to shout at you. You, stay right where you are. <laughs> the megaphone really isn't necessary, man. I'm standing right here. <laughs> you will place the stolen Bioware samples that you are carrying on the ground, then lie in your belly with your hands on your head. Do it now, or I will order my men to open fire. Um, I didn't steal anything. The owner of this material commissioned me to retrieve it for him. Ezekiel, you mean? Yes, we know all about him. He has quite a reputation back in Spain. We're with Shiawaze Street Scum, and that material infringes on 15 of our company's patents. The organs that you're carrying are based on our intellectual property. Well, uh, yeah, right. This is, the place is locked down for two years, and you choose today to come visit? You think that's a co that is a coincidence? We came when the quarantine was broken. We have had eyes on this place since the lockdown went into effect. You called us here when you opened the doors. Ah, uh, why wait? You could have broken into this place months ago. The building was quarantined, idiot. It's cheaper to set up a camera than it is to mount a hazmat cleanup effort. As long as that counterfeit merchandise was contained, we didn't care what was in, in there. But it will not hit the streets. Now shut your mouth and hit the floor or I'll order my men to open fire. Heh. <laughs> You can have this Bioware over my dead body. Or is it don't make me kill you, man? He shakes his head in disgust. Idiot, Shadowrunner. Your people don't know when to keep your mouth shut. Men, open fire. A shrill voice crackles over the building's intercom systems. It reverberates through the empty streets. You will not threaten this man, Jubathon Dog. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Perfect answer. The fuck? I wish it would actually spelled it. D-A. 
Uh, too long have my people lived in fear of your aggression. I, Philip Rex, will protect this land from your mongrel deprivations. The corporate spokesman turns to address the security officers behind him. You two, enter the building, find whoever's on the intercom, and silence him. Yes, sir. He turns back to face you, reaching for the sidearm on his hip. And as for you, the lab tech's voice rings down from speakers. Underneath it, you can hear the distinctive sound of hang fingers hammering on a keyboard. Peasants, arise and defend your home. You need only to believe in yourselves. The power is yours. All right, the peasants. All right, get them, peasants. But this damn cacophonous is music again. You missed, but you hit. I'll take it. Oh, it's their turn now. Alright, now. Ooh, motherfucker, that hurt. Alright, as long as no one else attacks him, I should be good to heal him. Okay, good. I'm... Fix the cacophonous music, but it didn't fix the way I thought it was gonna fix. In the original playthrough, the crazy ass uh, Night King's theme was playing the or King Knight, Night King, no, I don't know, was actually playing over. So unfortunately, that didn't stick. I was kind of hoping it would have, because it was pretty funny doing this fight with that song playing. Um, who to kill? Who to kill? Who to kill? Man in suit? I love killing men in suit. Quarantine tech. Uh, small little uh, selection there. Okay. Come here, man in suit. <gasps> you bitch. Alright, well. I don't have... Let me take cover. I will... Haste you on the next round, but first I must heal myself. Alright. Glory must adrenal pump as we do. Always. Alright. My pump has been adrenaled. Um, I don't think we have that many here to worry about. Oh yeah, we do. Conjurer. Forcer. Mage, huh? I don't want you conjuring anybody. What else can I do to you? Compound, pierces armor. You don't really have any armor to pierce. But I can make you bleed. <laughs> Tell me, do you bleed? Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, so let me take cover. We're gonna get some good cover, that's good cover. I'm going to use my good friend here, Max. All right. Max needs some cover. Max needs some cover too. I don't want to lose the attack turn. go here. Decent cover. And then let's do an aim shot. Fuck your heavy cover. Man in the suit wants to run around. Ouch! I got grenaded. You broke my armor. How dare you? Ouchie. Alright. Well, you 
missed. All right, come on, peasants. All right, you missed again. Okay, but you hit your friend. At least they're asleep, though. All right, now I can take out Mr. Man in suit. It's a knock on your head. How would I miss you if you're asleep? That is the biggest load of bullshit. All right, now I can haste you. All right, since I don't want him really fucking around with his armor, I'll switch gears. Let's get the mage out. Oh yeah, punch you in the back of the head. All right, since I missed you. That's right. Go to sleep. Um, let me hit your friend now. You guys are asleep. Let me get rid of that grenadier if I can. Ooh. Can I hit the two of you? You're flanked, but... How are you? In oh yeah, no, we would... We want to break your armor, that's fine. I will take the hit on attack to kill some armor on you. Alright. Good shit. Just in case. I am going to aim this shot at that grenadier. And I'm going to hopefully take him out with this attack. Okay, grenadier out. And now... Can I hit the mage from here? No. It was worth a shot. Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna bleed himself a little bit. Alright, chill out with the grenades now. Uh... I don't want you hitting us back. Well, you're hitting your friends. You don't seem to mind hitting your friend, like, at all. Uh... Take that, mage. Punch in your stupid face. Oh, I got another one, okay. And then last but not least, let's take out man in the suit. How? All right. Let me do this. And then let me do that. It's gotta do something. Thank you. Alright, he's still asleep. Um, let me see if I can take out this enforcer. Come on. How? Ugh, finally. Okay. Uh, who to kill? Who to kill? There you go. How about this guy? Because I'm just tired of looking at his face. There you go. Hey, he's moving again. And they're moving again. You missed. And he's running. We got a rabbit. They're gonna kill him. Oh yeah, he's dead. You get a little closer and then you can hit him. Not me. Thank you. And he got dead. Alright. We go all the way over here. Running punch. Ah, right in the back of the head. And we win. As the smoke begins to clear, a cry of jubilation sounds out over the Sutherland Bioscience Building's intercom system. We've done it! We've done it, my friends! The Jubathon hordes have been defeated. With this great victory, I declare a new age of exploration and commerce. My peasants will form trade agreements with our neighboring kingdoms for the betterment of all. Um. 
Yeah, Phil, I hope that works out for you. <laughs> you get that your neighboring kingdoms are just office buildings, right? All right. I hope, I hope that works out for you. Yeah. Farewell, stalwart sir. We will always remember you. You hear the rustling sound of Phil pushing himself away from the intercom. A few seconds later, the inter building's external speakers fall silent. Not ah, good for him, man. Um, see you later, peasants. Um, thanks for all your help, guys. Good, good, good job. Go team. All right, yeah, guys. We did it. All right, let's get out of here before the music breaks my ears. Confirm. Uh, well, that's probably one of the more fun missions. The Koitzbazar. The U-Bahn trip back to the... Adnauerplatz is a shaky one. Surprisingly, the train is packed. The only empty seats are at the very back of the car. A haggard-looking young mother marches down the aisle, dragging her three screaming children behind her. Two boys and a girl, each around six years old. As the woman nears you, her eyes fix on the frozen pouches of bioengineered meat that you liberated from Sutherland's executive freezer. She opens her mouth to say something, but at that moment, the little girl jams a finger into her brother's nose. The boy howls, and the young mother's shoulders slump. Slowly, robotically, she turns back toward her destination and begins to trundle forward, dragging her squalling offspring forward with the solemn, the solemnity, the solemnity of a funeral procession. I probably said that wrong. Solemn, the solemn, solemn, the solemnity. Yeah, whatever. Eventually, the train hums to a stop. You debark gratefully, lugging a freezer's worth of bioware samples behind you. All right, Ezekabel. Mr. Setup. I got two karma out of that, at least. All right. Uh, optional. I don't have to return those to him? Really? What do I do with them? Well, let me go do this first. If I chose not to. Let me just see. Yeah, there they are. I mean, why wouldn't I, though? Am I on... No, I'm not on level 6 yet. Okay. Alright. Hello, Mr. Blinkyman. Alright, Exegspel's expression brightens when he catches sight of you. Ah, you're back. Do you have my merchandise? I do, in fact. It's right here. He greedily snatches the sample from your hands. So you do? Yes. Yes, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Good work, Team Bravo. The doctor turns away, rifling through the samples and expecting their labels. He looks like a little kid in a candy store. I will transfer 2,000 yen into your account for the job. And if you'll give me a moment, I will add the samples that you've recovered to my inventory. He looks over the samples that you brought him and eagerly begins punching their serial numbers into his PDA. I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised. And now, if you'll excuse me, his sentence trails off as he returns his attention to his merchandise. Hang on, dog. There's a few more details that we need to discuss. Fine, fine. But let's make this quick, all right? I want to get this merchandise logged in the inventory before it starts to thaw. Don't you want to know what caused the lockdown? A flicker of irritation passes over his face. He reluctantly turns back to face you. Yes, yes. I suppose that I do. Go ahead. Tell me. I'm all ears. It was a stupid accident. Somebody spilled soy calf on a control console and a bunch of test animals killed the researchers. That's... Ugh. He grimaces. That is frustrating. But I suppose that's all water under the bridge. I have my merchandise after all. Uh, the Shiawase Corporation had eyes on that building. I had to fight one of their retrieval teams. Oh? I can't say that I'm surprised. They were instrumental in near my downfall back in Spain. The bastards brought all manner of drummed up charges against me. The tabloid press had a field day. I wouldn't worry about Shiawase. They may have their files on me, but they don't have any direct action against the Koitzbazar. I have information on several of their executives that would be quite embarrassing if it ever came to light. One of the researchers survived. He's gone insane in there over the past couple of years. He refuses to leave. Thinks that he's something called a Night King? How tragic. He pauses for a moment, considering, then shrugs. 
As far as I'm concerned, he can stay there for as long as he likes. The lease is paid through 2061, and I don't need the building for anything. That's uncharacteristically generous of you, Doctor. The money is already spent, Team Bravo. I can't get a refund, and the cleanup costs on getting the building up and running would ruin me. So it's going to sit idle, one way or the other. Anyway, I already have what I need from the facility. If your little friend wants to play out his fantasies in there, he's more than welcome to. I wash my hands of it. That's all I needed. I'll let you get back to your inventory. Can I buy from your inventory now? Oh. Uh, welcome back. What can I do for you, my friend? Schematic. I found the schematic. Can you make it and install it? Interesting. These type of implanted injectors have become popular with some of the local gangs. Yes, I can install it, though I will need payment for the materials. So let's see what we got. Alright, that, 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 that. Um... I'm guessing the alpha stuff is what I just got. No, here we go. Bioware. Tailored pheromones. Uh, influences others subconsciously, granting the user a subtle edge. Adds plus one charisma. Ooh. That's interesting. Um, Synchardium. Synth, Synthocardium Mark One Heart. Bioware 0.5. He wasn't kidding. These are actually pretty low on the uh, essence cost. Boost heart function. Plus one to dodge and throwing weapons. Uh, Cardio Mark 2. Boost heart function. Adds plus one to throwing weapons and dodge. And plus one to movement. Wow. Uh, the auto injector. That's the uh, 0.5. Also pretty low. All things considered. When triggered, accuracy is increased by 6% and incoming damage is increased... Oh, increased by 3. That's not good. Why would I want more damage? Makes no sense. Enhanced articulation. Bioware. Coats and lubricates joint surfaces of the legs to provide extreme fluidity of motion. Plus 1 dodge, plus 1 quickness. I need that. <laughs> I need that in real life. Oh, my joints have taken a beating with some of the shit that I do. Uh, Alright. Uh, pain editor. Zero essence cost. A cluster of specialized nervous tissue that filters out pain responses. Plus one willpower. Negative one intelligence. So it drops my intelligence. However, does not cost essence. That's very interesting. Um, toxin inhaler. Exhaler, excuse me. Bioware. Plants a genetically teared tailored toxin sack above the larynx. Popular among assassins. Grants a close range poison attack. 10 damage for ongoing. Interesting. Cerebral booster introduces additional con convolutions and giddy into the frontal lobes of the cerebellum. Boosting intelligence by 1. Okay. 0.5. Ortho skin. Another bioware. Only 0.3 essence cost. Weaves Graphs of synthogen, an energy-diffusing material under the skin, adds plus one armor. Some of this stuff is pretty intense, all things considered. Um, platelet factory, bioware, increases thermo, thermo, oh no, thrombocyte production into a high, to a high level, lessening trauma from recent wounds, only 0.5. And then there's the auto-injector for bliss. Uh, trigger incoming damage reduced by three, strength reduced by one. That's not good. We don't want that. Well, my essence is still currently six. I am still, um... I am still completely, um... Grade A original, original human, so... I'm gonna keep it that way for now. But some of that stuff is really interesting. I forgot that that unlocked such, uh decent wear, especially with such a low essence cost. Uh, da -da -da -da. No, nothing new from you. Okay, I thought you would have addressed everything that was going on. Toodles. Uh, how's my girl? Simi Kim. That's right, the other mission is in here. The Vine Killer. The Wine, the wine Killer. Uh, where's Kimmy? Kimmy? No Kimmy? Okay. Then no bone booth. Nothing there. Um, so, if I go into Der Weinkiller, 
that's going to take me to Iger's optional um, mission. Or I can do um, Glories. Um, you know what? I am going to save the best for last. I love my girl Glory. My little uh, cybernized Wednesday Adams. I'm going to save her for last. We will do Iger's mission first. I'll be at a mild um, um, oh my god handicap in that I haven't used Iger for quite some time now. Do you have anything to say to me? Anything new? Nah. You're still you. Um, I'm at a slight disadvantage that I haven't used Iger for quite some time. So, And there she is. Bannock. This dwarf has a distinctly Eurasian appearance. He peers up at Iger through almond-shaped eyes. The rest of his broad face is dominated by strong Slavic features. He nods to himself and points down his mug of soy calf. On the edge of the table, a plate of day-old pie cools in the haze of cigarette smoke. Oi, Iger. Been a long time. He taps a thumb on the rim of his coffee cup. Keeping busy? You could say that. Team Bravo. This is Bannock. He's a friend. The dwarf scoffs. <laughs> Don't know if I'd go that far. Nothing personal, you understand. If I were to start keeping friends, I might call you one. But in my experience, friendship and obligation go hand in hand. A solitary life is cleaner. He's not wrong, but that's a, fuck of a, way, that's a hell of a way to live. She smiles. Professional acquaintance, then. The dwarf nods. Better. Now, let's get down to business, shall we? Let's. We need intel on the engineer. Where he's staying, who he's working for, how long he's been in Schattennest. Whatever you've got, we want it. He spears a hunk of pie with his fork, crams it into his mouth, and starts to chew. A moment later, he shrugs. I've had worse, and of course, I'll give you what I can. But I don't know much. I can point you in the right direction. That's all. Just tell us what you can. We'll handle the heavy lifting. The dwarf nods, then fumbles in his jacket pocket for something. A moment later, he produces a leathered paper map and spreads it out on the table. All right. What you're looking at is the northwest quadrant of Shatten Nest. This is gang territory. All of it. These days, the whole key is as being held by Rambok. Well, I've had a run in with Rambok before. We can handle them. Not those assholes again. I'm surprised that there's enough left of them to hold much of anything. I think that was the gang we took care of with, um... Oh, uh... The one... The... The... Smuggler there with, uh... Against Humanus. Yeah, we have had a run, run with Realm before we can handle them. Wouldn't be so sure about, about that if I were you. The guy that filled the power vacuum when their last leader bit it is a real piece of work. But hey, maybe you're right. I hope so, for your sake. He stabs a meaty finger down on the faded silhouette of a building. This warehouse right here is Rambach HQ, and that's where the engineer is staying. Wonderful. Hiker exhales heavily. If he's staying there, he must be arranging some sort of deal with them. That'd be the safe bet. And they haven't pulled their guns on him yet, so it's fair to assume the negotiations are going well. I'm sure that I don't have to tell you this. But the last thing we need is an alliance between some foreign syndicate and Rambach. No good could come of that. I can't argue with that. Now, I can tell you who the engineer is working for. You'll have to ask him about that yourself. I can't tell you. You'll have to ask him about that yourself. But what I can do is make it easier for you to have a sit down with him. Bannock reaches under the table and brings up a canvas bag. He places it in front of you and pushes it forward. Don't open that in here. There are people in this room who would kill for what what's in that bag. <laughs> Shrug and kill them first. Uh, you gonna tell us what it is or do we have to guess? He lowers his voice to a soft whisper. You have, you have to lean in to hear him clearly. What you're gonna find in there is a gadget about the size of a water pistol. It has a rubberized grip and a hair trigger and it's good for one shot. <laughs> is it a stun gun? No. He pauses for a moment playing with his fork. Well, not really. 
For your purposes, you might as well think of it as one, though. The object in question is a cyberware deactivator. I had it shipped here. A great personal expense. From a supermax prison in the UCAS. He traces a twirl in the air with the fork. The ward owed me a favor. Iger whistles appreciatively. Very nice, Bannock. That should make this easy. Not easy. Possible. I wouldn't be giving it to you if the job could be done without it. The engineer is rocking a delta-grade move-by-wire system. Unless you can shut it down, there's no way in hell you're going to catch him. And if we do shut it down, he'll be forced into a state of permanent seizure. He shrugs. Only until he gets the thing up and running again. Deactivated isn't the same thing as broken. The dwarf shovels the, another heaping forkful of pie into his mouth. He chews thoughtfully. Until then, his life will be a living hell, but I can think of worse things to use as a bargaining chip. Remember, you need to know who he works for. The more you can take him, take him out of his comfort zone, the better. All right. That's handy. Making people uncomfortable is my specialty. Truer words have never been spoken. Thanks, Panic. We'll let you know how things work out. Cyberware deactivator. Custom-made weapon. Usable only at extremely close range. Keyed to a specific target's cyberware codes. You have no available item slots. I'm going to need this on me. Really? That looks like an available item slot to me. Okay, well... I will stash grenades since I don't really do the grenade thing. Ah! Oh yeah, that, that definitely goes to the stash, yeah. Uh, Bosphorus, that's fine. I'll keep that one. Don't bother. I'll be watching. Oh? Alright. Now we can take the U-Bot to the Shat Nest. Away we go. So, oh wait, I don't think I get the team for this one. So we had to meet regardless. Kimmy, you got nothing to say to me, girl? What, what, what's going on with your life? What's new? House tricks? None of that. No one else really here to talk to. I know he doesn't really tell me much. Safe house. Is that going to blow up my ears if I go in there? Let me talk to everyone else first. Mm, need some tech in the market for some exotic. What's ex uh, anything? New deck? It all sounds whiz to me. Uh, okay, it's just cyberware. Drones. So are these different than what you would have if I just mentioned that? No, it's the same thing. That's so weird. Okay, bye. Heck and bye. Hey, Cammy. Anything new? She grins at you, all spark and mischief. Hey there. How have you been? Things are all right. Good. I hope they stay that way. Let me know if they don't, though, all right? I'm always up to help. For now, got to help out two more, though. See you later, yeah? She's, uh, something with Cammy. I don't know. I can't really put my finger on it. There's, I mean, even though she's a teenager, she definitely has a, a way about her. Not meaning that in a creepy way. Let's tip the dancer as we do. Five me in for you. Um, well, let's go see. Apparently, there's stuff to do in the um, HQ. I don't know what. It's there, though. So let's see. Prepare for cacophonous music. Anything new out of you? I doubt it. Uh, Alright, we'll chat, we'll chat after the run. Sounds good. Alright, so he has nothing to do. It's new to say until we take care of that. Uh, Dante! Pet him. Woof! Alright, what's new? What's new with you? Anything, Dietrich? Uh, any thoughts on the last run? Not right now, boss. I got a lot on my mind. Okay. Any updates on Alexander? That new boss is adjusting. It's going to take some time. Okay. He's not very talkative. And Iger's not there because she's getting ready. Anything new there? 
Check your inbox. No new messages. Job directory. Uh, pending and active. Just the Aztec job. Okay. Oh, should be as technology. How are we on the Alice Fund? Forty thousand. Still got ten grand to go. All right. Anything new in the BBS? Uh, Formula Seventeen. So we've all seen this one floating about the tricks. This is some serious stuff. It's got heavy duty corp written all over it. Not a lot of players could be behind something like this. Aries or SK or maybe one of the big pharma corps. Seishering or AGC. Tolstoy. Of course, you can never totally discount the Aziz either. Ruby. Tolstoy, my esteemed colleague. This is indeed a recipe for some top shelf trick. Whispers from the shadows say that this is sourced straight from the upstate, from the smiling, courtesy of the smiling patent. No shit. So from the flux, huh? Local. Hello, boys. I'm a big fan. You know, longtime reader, first time poster. Quite an interesting concoction you have here. I'm just itching to cook some up. So many interesting properties to play with. I've already got a few tweaks in mind for my own special version 2.0. Brewmaster, huh? Oh, Brewmeister, excuse me. You sure that you want to do that? This stuff doesn't play nice, and corps are really bad at sharing their toys. Smiling Batnet. Excuse me. You can, of course, always share their secrets for them. Just got to make sure that you run a little faster than them. Courtesy of Clockwork. Always running, eh, CU? CW? <laughs> like Clockwork. That's it. Bandit, I'm touched by your concern, but don't you worry about little old me. I do declare this shall be ever such fun. Brewmeister. Oh, help me find my daughter. Please help me find my daughter. She ran away from home. She is human in her early 20s with short blonde hair and data jack. She was last seen wearing a light blue dress. Worried mother 004. This is not exactly the place to be looking for missing kids. How did you even get in here? Wraith Light 44. I paid good money to get on here. I was told you people could help. If you got the new yen, you can come to the, you've come to the right place. I sent you a number that you can reach me at, Ruby. The old help me find my missing kid routine, a classic maelstrom. My money is on escaped wage slave, Wraith Light 44. Make sure you do your homework, Ruby. Tolstoy. Let's see how that goes. I'm curious to see how that plays out. I hope that comes back up again in the future. Anyone have a good backup plan for when you get stuck with the tracer? Barely managed to bug out of my apartment after a corp hit squad came knocking. Lesson learned. Pat yourself down a couple times and be make sure you don't have a tail. But if I miss something, I'd rather keep my safe houses, you know, safe. Read like 44. I've had good luck with RF blockers. I have jamming grid set up near my safe house. It projects any signals to a few miles away where I've got some cameras placed. So when so someone shows up there, I know they're trying to find me. Then I do a thorough sweep to find the tracker. Alan Altbit. Sharp, how long does that go on before they give up? Tolstoy. Replying to Tolstoy, usually rule of threes. I keep reprojecting the signal at different locations. In my experience, they give up after the third one is a dead end and stop listening to that RF signal. Alan Altbit. All right, so good to know. Not really my forte, but that's okay. Done a post for sale. Um, nothing else going on. Okay, and then what's going on with you? Anything? Probably not. We got a job to prepare for, Team Bravo. I don't have any more time to talk. Hit me up after the run if you'd like, but for now I need some base. Okay, so we're going to do Iger's mission. I totally forgot about blitzes, otherwise we would have done that. So, back to the streets. Okay, at least the music kind of re-chilled. All right, to the platform. I like having Dante with me. I wish he'd be around a little bit more. Okay. Call Iger and travel to the Shatten Nest. All right. Travel to Land Rings Bank to Dragon Kip to clear Blitz's debt. See, if I do that one, I'm solo. So at least for now, let's do I. Let's do I. Well, let's do Iger's mission. We're not doing Iger. Big troll chick. Although, not troll. Sorry, orc. Nothing wrong with that. I see some artwork. Anyway, yep. Call Iger. Travel to the Shatten Nest to locate the engineer. And that's who we got. Let's do it. You and me, Orc Mama. 
the engineer, Shatinist. The key is next door to the Coit's Bazaar, and an object lesson in anarchy gone wrong. Violent gangs rule the streets here, trading territory to the roar of gunfire. The streets are a war zone. As dangerous as Shatinest already is, it could be worse. The gangs are vicious, but organized. They pose little risk to their neighbors. With little more than a makeshift barricade and a few volunteers, the Kreutzbazar has successfully insulated them itself from the chaos of his neighboring Kiets. The engineer could change all of that. He has to be stopped, and the F state as a whole, as a whole, needs to be alerted to what his clients are trying to do. It's up to you and Iger to make sure that happens. All right, I already got all my gear. Nothing really for me. Anything for you? I don't think you have cyberware. I think you already have the Mossberg, don't you? You do. Which is the shotgun, yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, you don't have cyberware. I'm, that's a very interesting. That's very interesting. All right, unspent karma. I doubt I have anything to even spend this on. It's only three points. I don't want to use it just to use it. Um, uh, Iger's theme. That's another good one. I like the trudging. of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nothing to spend. That's fine. As you near the edge of the Coit's Bazaar, the familiar piss and asphalt stench of Shatinest crawls into your nostrils and sticks in the back of your throat. The dilapidated husks of burnt-out buildings loom above you, giving the place an air of menace. I was hoping I'd put this place behind me after the Humanus run. Yeah, I'm with you there. She wrinkles her nose. The funny thing is... A syndicate presence might actually help Shatinest, in the short term, at least. They'd clean up the streets, if nothing else. Uh, in that case, maybe we should just forget about this? Don't tell me you're changing your mind. Not for a second. A syndicate, any syndicate, in Shatinest would be a disaster for the Quaid's Bazaar. Let the people on the other side of the gate deal with their own problems. I won't allow my home to be endangered for their sake. Iger being the hard ass that she is. I do like her as a character. I kind of wish I would have used her more. I kind of like the dynamic between the two. The main character and Iger. Kind of like that trepidatious, you know, almost unwillingness to help and, and you know, support. But eventually coming around and probably being one of the staunchest Defenders, I think that's very cool, and I can I can respect Iger. Um, this one is fun for me, just at least on a story level. If all else, if if recollection serves, um, but that is going to have to wait for the next one because we are out of time. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm Team Bravo Six One Five. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.